Time to see how our Thursday is shaping up. Let's turn things over to meteorologist Sharon Ray for more on that. Yes, it's a nice quiet morning out there. It's warm though and it's muggy. Breeze is picking up a little bit and we have those low clouds pushing across the area. It's 81 at Corpus Christi right now and very warm all across the coast. 83 at Rockport and Beeville 81 as well as Kingsville. As we see the uh, winds that have picked up to about 15 miles an hour. You can see the wind speeds from 10 at Orange Grove. A little bit of a breeze blowing from the uh, Naval Air Station to Corpus Christi up to 15 miles an hour. You know, the past several days we've been dealing with some pretty windy afternoons. Afternoons. And today is still going to be on the breezy side, but the winds are coming down now and they are relaxing as we head into the weekend. So we're looking at much lighter winds that'll make for better boating conditions and fishing conditions. Uh, it's, and it's also going to mean not as cool as in the afternoon. That wind won't be blowing as much to help cool you down. High temperatures today you can see are very much what you would expect for early July. We're reaching at the upper 90s inland. It's going to be hot and sticky at Alice, 96 to 95 Beeville, Robstown touching. 94 degrees today in Corpus Christi close to 92 coast side in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. But the heat index today with the triple digit numbers not as extreme as when we started the week. The dew points coming down a little bit and they'll continue to do so as we head into the weekend. Nevertheless, it's still going to be our typical hot, humid day. The feels like forecast this afternoon, you can see feeling like 102 by 3 o'clock this afternoon in Corpus Christi. Those numbers come down just a tad for tomorrow. As you can see, the Friday feels like afternoon forecast anywhere from about 100 in our inland areas to about 106 degrees. So a little bit of an improvement there, although the temperature, the actual temperature will be going up with that slightly drier air. Dry indeed, can't seem to find much rain. We have a little bit coming down in the big bend and also to the north here, but you can see it's falling apart now. And overall, the trend over the next few days is dry. We are looking at uh, just some of those low clouds in the area that'll break up this afternoon and that haze from that Saharan dust layer today and tomorrow. Our ridge of high pressure aloft continues to build over the area. Our heat dome is over us. It's going to stick around through the weekend. In fact, uh, as the air dries out, it's going to heat up even a little more as we head into the weekend. It's going to be hot. However, next week, temperatures start to come down again, a little bit anyway, as we have the high pulling back to the west. Uh, by next Monday and Tuesday, this trough of lower pressure aloft brings in these little waves of low pressure. So we call these disturbances. And there may be enough here to produce an isolated shower or two by Tuesday and Wednesday. You can see the temperatures go up in response to that high pressure building through the weekend and the drier air. But then as we get into next week, they come back down a little bit, hovering just below average. And our rain chances are pretty much zero until we get into Monday, maybe a stray shower, and then next Tuesday, isolated for Tuesday and Wednesday. This upcoming weekend for the uh, holiday, we have a full moon Saturday night. You can enjoy seeing that rising at 728. There'll be a very faint lunar eclipse, Jupiter and Saturn in the night sky as well. Next seven days then, temperatures are going up. Look at the weekend forecast. It's hot. Nights in the low 70s and dry weather continues.